It's been three years since we made our Apple Notes wish list for the iPad. And honestly, maybe it's time we let go. Sure, we've ticked off some items, but most of the critical features we've been wanting still haven't been brought to iPadOS 26. At some point, you just wonder, when do we stop hoping? We still don't have vector ink for the pen tools, which means still no zooming for our pages. When you export your notes as a PDF, you won't run away from turning them into a blurry mess if you try to zoom in on them from other apps. Text color, only if you're using a highlighter, which is not the same thing as text color anyway. So we're stuck with black. Even with the new macOS style menu bar, it honestly isn't bringing much to the table. We can only hope that it's laying the ground foundation for richer text formatting tools, but um, like I said, should we stop hoping? The floating toolbar is better in the third developer beta. Icons are darker, more visible. The transparency isn't as annoying as before. So that's something. The combination of the floating toolbar and the menu bar feels awkward on such a small screen like the iPad. And I'm using the 13 inch one, so. The menu bar obviously can't get any bigger than that, no matter how much we want it to. It will eat into our precious screen real estate, which we obviously do not want. Definitely not worth it, considering that it really has nothing new to offer. Let's talk about that sidebar. It looks a lot better with the bigger text. Because with small text, it is bold, so it's in your face. And I don't like it. I miss the soft yellow icons, they were subtle, minimalist, and easier on the eyes. With the default font size, everything on the screen is screaming for attention. The sidebar is competing with our notes, it looks and feels cluttered. Since this is my go-to app, I can't just drop it for that, you know? So, I've been taking more notes on the iPhone. Back to the wish list. Again, table editing is still a pain. Rows and columns, still fixed. Adding cells, still too much work. No change here in iPadOS 26. What has changed? Mainly the user interface. The vertical pop-up menu is cleaner, better organized, and actually quite intuitive. There is also support for right-to-left writing, which I can't try myself because I genuinely don't know how. But if you use it, let us know if it works well. Now for something I did get excited about, the new Read Calligraphy pin. It's beautiful. It supports different stroke angles and feels really nice. Is it just me or do all these angles look the same? And you can see the small slight variations but mm, pretty much the same thing. I suppose you'd have to be somewhat of a calligraphy expert to really appreciate the subtle differences which I'm currently having a hard time doing so. But it's too thick. Unless you're using it for headers and titles, it's simply too thick. And that's a bit of a letdown. I was you hoping to make it my go-to preferred pen for taking notes. I guess that's not happening. One thing that did make me smile, Markdown export. Finally, if you've ever needed to share your type notes in Markdown, this is a huge win. It's probably the most useful feature in iPadOS 26, but the app exports the notes in a folder so you can't export them directly to other apps, which is a huge pain because you need to save them to files first. And that is tiring if you do this often. Let's hope they improve on that. Most apps just export directly. Not in this case. Apple removed multiple instances for iPadOS. Why? Why? Window apps are fine. I like them. First impressions, it's one of the things that I really liked about iPadOS 26, but 
I thought they were an extra option for multitasking on the iPad, not a replacement for multiple instances. Now I can't just drag an app into split view like I used to, and this is a very, it's a feature I use all the time. That's a serious blow to multitasking. First, it was Stage Manager, which, you know, at least it was in addition to multiple instances. Now they've decided to remove multiple instances where you have to decide every single time where you want your windows to go. When before it was a very simple drag and drop. This is the most annoying update that's come to iPadOS 26. So in the end, none of the Apple Notes changes in iPadOS 26 actually help my workflow. What I do get is a new user interface to adjust to and multitasking that feels like a downgrade. I am perfectly annoyed. If you're trying out the beta too, I hope your experience has been better. For more updates, reviews, and digital workflows that make sense, consider subscribing. It does help the channel. Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.